Hello, everyone, and welcome to my explanations. I'm going to do a little bit of a product review here, kind of a little bit of a suggestion. So first, I'm just going to start, um, especially across Canada, a lot of people are hearing about they lack access to basic internet, especially when you're kind of out in, um, you know, in the middle of nowhere. If you're not in the city, if you're in the city, right, you've got access to all the optics and to the high speed outside the city is where you kind of start getting limited. You know, some people you got to try to do satellite or you got to do some of the um, other companies out there. <coughs> and what's really sad is because there's only a few of those out there. They start price gouging. You've got people who are getting internet speeds of like between four and eight where, you know, you've got uh, high speed, they're like 25, 30, 50, 100, 200, 300 for the speeds. Out in the middle, you know, when you're kind of uh, not close to that kind of infrastructure, you kind of get a little bit limited. And especially when a lot of them are starting to charge a couple hundred dollars to install. And you're paying, most of them start at about 110 with limited data and low speed and i've actually even seen some out there where it was okay you get 200 gigabytes at up to eight after that it drops to one and you're lucky if you're even going to be getting eight for most of the duration right because you're, you're a lot of it sharing in the busy and i don't like that oh excuse me there um so one of the new things that have been really starting up, this is really good kind of for Western Canada. Um, I'd like to see it kind of go out to the rest, but TELUS has actually started to get into the market with um, this mobility internet. Now, there is also a difference. So with some of those other companies, you know, you're, you're paying like two to $300 for them to come and install a receiver or a dish on your roof. <coughs> wire it down inside to get your internet. And a lot of those are between four and eight. You might get one a little bit up to maybe 10, but again, you're going to be limited on what you can get. Why am I all of a sudden? Now with TELUS, anywhere where there is an LTE TELUS service, like what, with what mobility uses, you can have internet. It's also a little bit more mobile. Now, I know they say if you move it from a service address, it will not work. The actual wording is as long as it's in an area where that service is provided through the TELUS network, it'll work. So it is a little bit more portable. You don't have to have any special equipment installed. Now, to help with um, low connection, um, or if you don't get a strong enough signal, they do offer a service for you uh, where they can come in to install an antenna to boost it up for you. You can actually even find those online um, through local stores, as well as even Amazon, if you want to go out and buy. <coughs> so with being up here, I've actually even tested that. So I'm actually gonna show you. And it's actually called the Smart Hub by TELUS. So this is the uh, M, whoop, wrong side, MF uh, 279T. It is an all-in-one there, all there through with the TELUS. And you have an option of either buying the unit, so you own it right up front, or putting it onto a two-year contract. I didn't have the money to go up to the front, so I put it onto a two-year contract. You do save on the um, the monthly fees as well as the purchase if you do it in the monthly. So it was a much better offer. So in the box, you're going to have all your manuals and everything there, but that is going to be your unit. It also comes with the power adapter. Um, it's also got uh, network cables. Now, the other thing that was really nice feature about this that the others don't have, yes, you can actually mount this onto a wall to hang up, 
but it's also got a battery backup. So your int if the power goes out, your internet doesn't die and go down. That's one of the bonuses that I really liked about um, uh, the with this. <coughs> <clears throat> so a nice small compact unit you can hang it on the wall you want to go around to the different spots in your house especially near a window to see where you're going to get the best strongest signal does have an on whoop, on off power these ports here are covered right now because i don't have um the phone service to hook in um a network phone but that's where the plugs are in the back then of course you've got your uh network um, if you want to go into like another router or something there or to directly wire in. And then of course your power. On the ends, you see here, whoop, whoop, what am I doing? On the ends, there's two caps here. Those pop off really easy. They pop off easy when you don't want them to pop off. And now that I'm on the video, they won't pop off easy. Usually you just touch them and they pop off. See, now they're showing me up on purpose. There we go. So they actually just pop off and inside is a connector for the antenna. So if you wanted to have an antenna on to increase your range, that's where you would just plug it in and there's one on both sides. Those are optional, this it does. So I actually have this charged up. So I'm actually going to power it on. It is going to take a little bit there. So we'll do a little bit of a test. It's a great way. Now, they have plans right now where they were offering double data. So they have plans starting as low as um, it was 50, but it's 100 gigabytes per month. And they actually go up to one terabyte. The one terabyte actually is um, about equivalent to the cost of what the other guys we're offering for very limited slow. Telus does say that you can get up to 25 for speed. So as you can see, it's got four, there's four bars for um, the signal. Right now I'm in a really bad spot um, and you can see it was flashing between one and two. So that's actually all up. So you can see there's the battery, signal, battery, Power is flashing because it's not, it's letting you know, hey, I'm running off on battery and I'm actually just waiting for it to finish booting up because right now it's gone in and it's connecting. And that is my Wi-Fi. So now Wi-Fi, internal Wi-Fi. So here it's connected to the server, the battery, and now we've got to connect the uh, router, built-in Wi-Fi router is all turned on. So I'm just going to switch over my phone. <coughs> so it does have the 2.4 and the 5G, what it does offer for the for your Wi-Fi connector. So as you can see, it's flashing there because I'm connecting. So I am now connected. So I'm actually going to do one of their speed tests. Now it does vary throughout the day. I'm also only getting one bar, so we'll see how good of a, a quality I get. And I'm also quite far away. When I was doing the test in here, it was I was getting pretty much halfway up to the max speeds. I'm also here with the forest behind and I had it in a window in um, a bedroom and I was getting up to about two bars. So right now it has found, it knows that we're part of TELUS. Pinging. Must, uh, let's see. Yeah, right now it must be busy and I'm getting a very low signal. So I'm not getting very high speeds right now. Very low speeds. But I've got it connected. I'm not near a window. I'm in the middle of the house. There's all walls behind me. The place I'm in right now is a mobile home with a tin roof, which really blocks the cell phone and all signals. So the fact that I have internet right now, the sending here, that's actually really good because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Now, I have decided there was many different ways. I didn't want to be drilling a hole to attach um, an antenna outside. So um, one of the other options out there is, um, as I said, you can buy different antennas. There's antennas that you have to drill to put outside onto the roof. 
or there's little bars that you can go onto the back. So I've actually decided to go online to get one of these that attach actually onto the back. This was a little bit cheaper um, of an option. This is uh, about a third of the price of what the antennas are that goes outside. You're gonna have to see with what. So I'm just testing these because these are something a little bit different. <coughs> Again, you can get all these from everywhere. These ones I got from Amazon. I'll have to see if I can get my link on there. Right, but uh, again, it's just to help boost up the signal. And I'm going to use both because I want to get a really good signal here. Okay, so all that's changing because it now knows that there's antennas. Okay, I got one in. Why do they always make these in fun tight areas? Okay, I got one in. <laughs> Oops, look at that, I'm falling apart. Sorry guys, I'm playing around with my new Microphone. There we go. So let's see what that does, because I'm still sitting in the same. I know I'm kind of moving it all around. You know, yeah, kind of a little bit funky thing there. Let's see. So that in, did increase my strength a little bit in the bars. Now I'm not near the window and stuff here yet. So I know I was getting a little bit different of a strength, but I was getting it to go, it was going up and down for signal strength. So I actually had it going up here to three bars. So right now it hasn't changed my internet speed. So I'm gonna put it here under a window that I actually have tried it in before that uh, it was getting signal and see if that makes a difference there. Be right back.
Now, these ones I went with because I could put them inside. I didn't want to drill outside. The best ones are outside. And that's kicked the speed up a little bit from what it was, from what I had. So a lot of it's just to get the better. <coughs> I know the best ones are to put outside, but I just wanted to kind of save, you know, just, and as I wanted to be able to keep it inside and to see how well it's going to do. So it did boost up the, uh, the bar a little bit on there. And I got a little bit of uh, better speed than when I did there before. So, <clears throat> um, one of the things I do want to mention is a lot of these rural servers, service providers, they throttle the internet. And if there's high demand, they kind of balance it so that everybody can be getting a service. So not one person's and everybody's like, beep, right? So they do kind of throttle a little bit. The best times I find is actually earlier during the day is when you're going to get the best speeds. Later in the evenings, usually that's when everybody comes home. That's where you're going to see more of the throttling um, that's going to be going on and happening. So I've actually have taken this unit and tested it here. I've also tested it at the, the other place where they say you can't get internet. That's really kind of one of the things is um, the best way to see if you qualify is actually take your cell phone, stand where you're going to be having it and having that test a location. <coughs> um, out in, uh, you know, in, in uh, the rural area, yeah, the rural, the urban areas, um, the, there's not, a lot of them don't have actual service or road um uh, numbers and stuff like that. So when they ask you, well, where's the service address? You can't just say, oh, it's this number on this road. We don't have, we don't have that. And so even it's like this long um, numeric and uh, characters for even the service site to get electricity out here. So you can't really use that. So a lot of it, it uses the map um, coordinates. And that's usually how you can tell if it's there. One of the other places that I tested it, I knew it was a, others say, yes, you can. But when you test it online, it, it says, oh, it's not there yet. I took to test it there and it actually does work. So the one thing is, is nice is Telus does offer um, a 15 day trial period where, you know, if you decide it's not going to work, you can return it. You're not going to have to deal with any of that or any of those um, fees and stuff. So that's something really good. So <clears throat> now, there's a lot of different companies you can go with out there. So what I want you to do is down below, I'm actually going to have a link to Telus with a special referral. By using that link, um, and you, you know you can switch over to sign up with Telus, and um, you will get a um, up to fifty dollars. Uh, bill credit for each service that you sign up with by using my link below. So that's kind of the special that I'm offering right now for those who want to switch to Telus and try it out. Doesn't matter if it's going to be the smart hub. Doesn't matter if it's going to be a home phone, home internet, or home TV because they all offer that. Um, or you know, so the smart hub, home phone, TV, internet. Uh, they also do mobile cell phones and they actually also now do um, uh, security. So they also do a security alarm system. So there's four main ones that you can get $50 bill credit for. So if you sign up for four, 50, 50, 50, 50, that's up to $200 that you can get off of a bill credit. Um, so definitely check it out, check my link below you know, click on it, go in to see, you know what, you might be able to really save. And 
sometimes you just got to hit at the right time. And that's what I've done. And I've hit at the right time. So for an example, um, I did say that, yeah, some of those other internet companies, you know, it's like 110, they sometimes start at and up per month. Some of them will try to advertise, oh, we can get you better and higher speeds. That's only for areas just outside of the city. They can offer those. And sometimes you'll see ones where it's like, oh yeah, well, we can get you this or the high speeds up to that into 60 or 70. That's only for those outside. So you won't be able to get those up here uh, uh, because I've actually gone on and checked and they're like, oh, no, no, where you are, no, we can't do that. We can't offer that for you. This is all that you can do. So that's why I went with the Tele Smart Hub because I can get up to the speeds of 25. And um, I know because uh, one of the others here, we've tested and used their internet and they actually are on one of those um, other companies. Um, not going to really bash anybody here, but they're paying, you know, about 110, 120 per month for speeds up to eight. And it can be really hit or miss. And usually they average about one or two. Um, right, which is kind of really low, especially if you want to be doing a lot of stuff. So that's why I got this because I wanted to be able to have my own internet and not share off of them because, you know, five people six people running off of one internet on their little one isn't going to be able to handle it. So definitely check out my links below. Um, use that referral link to get, uh, you know, your up to $50 credit bonus off for each service you sign up for. Win-win situation. Um, and if you've used the Smart Hub, you know what? Maybe give me some of your feedback and some of the stuff on there, right? <coughs> I've heard from some that they went and got some other little antennas and they did no difference. And for some of them that actually even slowed their service down. Um, so I did a lot of researching on the reviews to make sure I find one. I did want to kind of go to put one up onto the roof, but um, to do that, it was going to be two to three times the cost of what the antenna is. For I'm, you know, I didn't want to be having to do that because then I have to drill a hole. And if I want to move the modem, you know, really I can't because it's all there connected. I wanted more of that freedom. So definitely go ahead and check that out. I am going to be doing hopefully up some uh, other product videos and stuff here. Let me know what you've thought about the Smart Hub. Um, I know it's been people I've talked to. There's been a few people that have not been happy. But I've also talked to a lot that have been really happy and they've actually been able to get up to the speeds of the 25 and some of them are in the area where they were able actually even to get higher than that. And oh, and I know one more thing I forgot. So the plans do start um, as low as, uh, you know, 100 gigabytes per month. And, you know, you can the plans could start as low as $60 per month. Um, that is the bonus. And as I said before, you can get up to the one terabyte with the faster speed for less than um, some of the other competitors. So you know what? Don't be afraid to shop around. Um, that's that for this one here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. And have a good day.